And I owe it all to you On the previous blog with Peyton. She's just a little too She's just a little too He sent me. This is for. Oh, wow. He sent me some new perfume. I love him. What is this? Velvet? <laughs> this is beautiful. What is that? Velvet? The money for me. Hey, he gonna go dummy for me. It's cute. It's classy. It's great for a networking event. We got the side pod under. I like getting on my head in every class, and I make sure that everybody's able to do headstands, everything by the time we leave. Okay? Hey, hey, there go, hey. Don't you teach, don't you teach me no headstand. Let me show you just one more thing. I can roll back on it too. So this is like the part where it will get your lower sciatic nerves, everything. So that's really feels good on the back. I can go back. Ugh. I think she called me doing it one time. She was like, oh, your feet hurt. And I'm like, nah, I'm okay, okay with that. You. Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? You don't remember saying that? No. I wow. said, no, I said, how are your feet? <laughs> oh. You may. Damn, this perfume smells good as shit. If you haven't checked out that video, definitely go and do so. And let's jump into this week's vlog and see what's going on. organization situation like this is new for me y'all this is really new for me i ain't i ain't used to doing this but i wanted to do it like i was ooh, i was so tired of my under cabinets in my bathroom i was really tired of that um and i guess it just made me want to do the kitchen and uh the refrigerator so i meal prepped yesterday so i'm about to heat up this um the rest of this fried rice and salmon eat that and go upstairs and watch force power so y'all know i'm always trying to help y'all find deals perfume coupons all of that stuff, right? I'm always putting y'all on. So I have literally found the easiest way to make extra cash and earn gift cards. And it's through Pinecone Research. And I do want to thank Pinecone Research for sponsoring this video. But it's super easy. So like instead of like, you know, wasting time scrolling through your phone looking for survey options. If you are one of those people that like to um indulge and engage in surveys i'm one i like to earn gift cards even if it's not money just like gift cards to shop and stuff like that because you know when you go to like different stores they don't offer like coupons a lot, a lot of stores don't offer coupons for you to save money so if you have a gift card it's essentially the same thing so yeah a little bit about pinecone pinecone is basically a company that 
um, gives you surveys. So the surveys are invite only, but you are guaranteed a cash out after every survey that you complete. Um, and then they also offer options to like actually review products. So if you want to do like get into product reviews, which is a really big thing on YouTube. I used to do product reviews a lot in when I first started YouTube. I would always like review foundations and stuff like that. Things that I would actually buy, but like a lot of people always want to know about these things. So when you give feedback on products and brands, it helps consumers out whether or not to know like um whether if they want to buy it or not so like that's basically what pinecone is like it offers you opportunities to give feedback about products that you have used or maybe products that they'll send for you to review so yeah like i said it's invite only and i encourage you guys to use my link all you have to do is tap the link below in the description box and use my link like i said it's invite only and they will send you surveys so you have the option to like if you don't want to do this survey you know when they send you could just like skip it or whatever um it's solely up to you but yeah i i enjoy them when i'm when i have some downtime i do do surveys when like i'm getting my toes done or when i'm in the waiting room for something i'll engage in a survey and get a gift card so yeah once you're in you're in and you get rewards and they pay more than other companies too <sighs> all right you guys so i am getting ready to get acupuncture and then he's going to um do a stem seal and then um he's gonna like like work out the scar tissue um that i have don't know where it came from but this will give you uh an idea of like what it's like to do acupuncture it doesn't hurt it feels like a mosquito bite honestly like to be quite honest, it feels just like a mosquito bite. Um, and it and it has started helping me a lot. So, um, I don't know how many treatments I'm gonna need, but I'm doing them whenever he says because I have severe, like chronic back pain. Um, and those two car accidents just didn't help me at all. Like. I already kind of suffer from back pain, but it was more lower. But between having technique, you know, looking at your phone and always looking down, then being rear-ended, then being side-swiped, <laughs> girl, my back has clocked out. My spine has clocked out. I can't even sleep with a pillow at this point. Like, I have to sleep basically like this with my neck all the way back. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let me pop it first, okay? What's the pain about today? Let's say 10 being the worst pain. still have tightness here, right? Yeah. Have you been sleeping okay? Uh, Not really. <laughs> somewhat, yeah. Have you started using heat on your bar yet? I keep forgetting. Hmm? You keep forgetting? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so if you want to make the uh, treatment last a little bit longer, start using heat, okay? Okay. Because I want you to get the maximum benefits out of acupuncture. Unfortunately, you know, you can only come here 
get tons of work. <laughs> so I want you to get the most benefit out of it, okay? Mm -hmm. Have you had the need to take any kind of a, a more train this week, uh, this past week? I don't know. I don't know. Is, okay. It didn't work, so I'm going to get some more train because okay. the Tylenol is not working. Okay, okay. Yeah, so Tylenol doesn't have the um, anti-inflammatory... Uh, Effect it only numbs the pain. Okay, mm -hmm. motrin does contain some additional things to help reduce inflammation. So that may be the difference. Why Tylenol doesn't work for you, and other other kind of pain medication works for you. Okay. Do you take fish oil? No. No. That might be something I want to consider, okay? Okay. So anti-inflammatory medication can be hard on your gastrointestine. So one of the nature's best way to manage stress is omega-3. It's considered anti-inflammatory. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't have almost almost no side effects to it. So all right, all right, all right. So we are in Best Buy because I ordered a 75 inch Sony TV, then they scheduled it for today. Still wasn't. So I said, give me my money back, I just go in the store. Cause I ain't never had no problems ordering a TV and getting it delivered and all of that when I go in the store. So that's why we here. We about to buy a TV. And hopefully we don't run into this bullshit anymore. Is this the one I get? I need you, need you back in my life, baby. 75 inch TVs are huge. Okay, so this is the Samsung. It's 9.49. I don't know what this one is. This is the one that I ordered here. It's also 949. And they have this LG. It's 899. It's nano sale. It almost looks framed. And then this one is an LG 82 inch. This don't look like no 82 inch. Alright, now I'm about to head to my apartments and let them know that I will be moving out because there's no reason for me to keep the apartment if I'm not going to be on Airbnb. So, that's what we're about to do. And then, I'm going to go get me something to eat because when I get home, I want to go ahead and put up my curtains. I don't want to have to cook, so probably gonna cook later but as for right now just give me something to eat and I'm probably gonna pull up to pay way and get some of that firecracker chicken because it's so good y'all it is so good with fried rice this is good all right I got a girl okay I got a, I got a what is this? Is this a hex saw? A hex saw. I got a hex saw in the little situation. What is this called? Uh, so are these like... So I just put two light bulbs here. Two new light bulbs and now that one's out. I can't, I can't win. Like literally, I don't, I don't get it. 
As soon as I replace one light bulb, another one go out. Like I just replaced these two because these two was going out. Now the one in the hallway going out. I just, I, I, I can't, I can't. I can't. Owning a home is annoying as fuck. Adulting sucks. Adulting really does suck, y'all. God, dog. Let me be careful. Because that's all I need is to cut off a finger. That's all you need, sis. Bitch, no, I didn't know. I done set up here and broke it. Oh, Lord. You can't tell me that this motherfucker did easy to break. You cannot tell me this. Okay. I figured out how to uh put the <laughs> I figured out how to put the thing back in it. The knife, the saw. Okay, now I'm about to. These gloves smell like butterfingers. Now I want some chocolate. Okay, now I'm about to saw this. Okay, so I got this big bug curtain rack. And I'm at the end where I need just a little piece of it. So I made a little mark right there. And I'm about to cut it with my hacksaw. to the other piece just slide it in like that now I'm gonna hopefully this is the right side
Okay, now I need to put the rest of these. I need to go order. I need to go buy some more of these. Cause, but look, this what the this what the this what it's looking like. You see, but they're too light. That's a beige. I got these from Bed Bath and Beyond. That's a beige. But as you can see, like that's way too light. It's not going. So I just ordered some beige. What looks like this beige from Amazon. They'll be here. Tomorrow, and we gonna hang those up. Baby, Brenda the Builder is in full effect, okay? Stop playing with me. I'm gonna have to put these up. This week, we getting this house together, girl. We are getting this house together. I just ordered some new um, curtains. Because the ones that I got, if you've seen the previous vlog, they're they're supposed to be beige, but those aren't beige, Chad. Those are very much white. So I'm probably going to put most of them in the office since the office is more of like a cream, gold, gray type of vibe. And here is beige. It's beige. It's, it's beige and white, but it's beige. I don't want white curtains up. Cause I think it's gonna throw off everything. I don't know, but I bought some beige, beige curtains, sheer curtains. So I'm about to hang these up and hopefully these look a lot better. I did use the Ikea Viva track system. Instead of doing rods, they're already up. So all I have to do is just clamp these in and hang these up. And I went and got a what is it, an 8 foot ladder, 10 foot ladder I want to get a 10 foot ladder so I can like reach all the way to the top so I'm about to hang these up and then I'm going to make me some brunch because I actually went to get my lips touched up with this um, she's really like popular here in Dallas, she's really good with Russian lips um, but she didn't want to touch my lips because um, I just got them done in September and she was like they're really full you don't really need them done but I'm like I just want you to touch up but she don't do touch ups and she doesn't do work over other people like if you come to her and you've already had your lips done she's going to want to dissolve and completely remove um, your previous filler and start from scratch and I didn't want to do that because I just wanted a touch up so I need to find somebody that does touch ups or maybe go to somebody that uses a hyaluronic pen um, I just don't feel like the hyaluronic pen lasts long that's the reason why I chose to like do a touch up but if all this fails baby we'll just go back to turkey and let the doctor that did them touch them up <sighs> okay so let me see if these are the right color. Oh, these are looking too beige. Oh, girl, I don't know. These are, see, I knew that this was going to happen. I can't win for losing. See, Okay, so the other ones are like a light beige. They like white. These are damn near brown. I, I can't win. could have sworn I clicked on 108 yesterday. I could have sworn I ordered 108. Oh my God. 
I really got to start like really looking at the stuff that I ordered. I don't like these anyway. <laughs> coming soon but i'm still waiting on my mirror this is gonna go right behind me so once the mirror comes in then i'll show y'all the living room because it's pretty much finished it was supposed to be delivered thursday i do not know what's going on with deliveries this month but like march has been so annoying y'all march has been very very annoying for me Hence why I have not been uploading as much. Because I usually upload like six to seven videos and I've only uploaded three so far. So I need to get to work, but I honestly just have not been motivated. So yeah, getting this house together and decorating has been much needed therapy for me. Plus I also did my first therapy session today. She just let me talk. She asked me a few questions and... At the end of it, she was like, I'm going to give you some worksheets to do. Um, and if you ever want to schedule another session, you just look and see when I'm available. If I'm not, then just let me know and I'll try to work you in. And I was like, okay, <laughs> uh, where's the therapy? Ma'am, give me some. You know what I'm saying? I was like, is this the end? So like... I scheduled another session. We will see how it goes. But she asked me what I was wanting to accomplish at the end of our, like, at the end of it. And I said acceptance and letting go. Things that I have been trying to work on myself with, like, reading self-help books and stuff like that. But, ooh, child, it's hard to let go of trauma. It really is because it's not like a scar on the skin like a physical scar it's inside so you never forget these things it's on your heart it's on your mind so yeah but we're gonna give it a word i'm gonna i'm not gonna give up just yet but first session i will say my review is i don't like therapy i don't i don't feel like it does anything for me but anyway right now i'm watching the second season of love is blind I'm on episode two, even though I got all the way to episode seven last night, my ADD was kicking in. I was doing the most and I was being on, you know, I was on Instagram. I was on Wayfair. I was on YouTube overanalyzing, just doing a lot. Like I'll, I'll be so glad when I'm finished decorating this house because I really won't have anything else to do and I can really pour back into me. But like I said, decorating has been very therapeutic for me. Because March has been, ooh. So, yeah. I said all that to say. When the mirror comes in, I'm going to show you guys the finished living room. But, yeah, let me get back to watching this. I just made me some shrimp fried rice. I accidentally put too much salt in the child. I hope my blood pressure doesn't go up. <sighs> Got some shit for you to come again. I don't deserve it at all. No, not at all. I 
office now and it is time to get to work and create a masterpiece. So I am going to be here for the next few hours. I'm definitely proud of myself for getting up early and making myself breakfast. I ate all my food. You guys would be so proud. My appetite is coming back. I woke up this morning at 1.40. <laughs> girl i'm so happy bro i'm so happy like i'm five pounds away from my goal weight 145 it used to be 150 but oh child now because mm -mm. it going here like god didn't make me to be thick he made me to be skinny literally for the rest of my life so um after 145 it starts getting all up in here oh lady so, uh, yeah, we're going to stop at 145. I think 145 is a healthy weight for me, um, especially if, when I'm getting back in the gym and I tone up because we got to tone up for the summer sis. I didn't, one of my PayPal sent me, <laughs> one of my PayPal sent me a, a, a story that she made saying she didn't work out all, all spring break and what about it? Listen, I didn't either. I didn't either sis. So please, please don't beat yourself up about it. We're going to get back in the gym, but like, based on my heart like literally my heart my actual heart the organ um and my blood pressure i have to ease my way back into it i can't jump in a gym and go hard i cannot so going back to jacoby just really isn't gonna be like a good idea for me because when i train with jacoby he really um overdoes it and like when i'm telling him like hold on bro i need to catch my breath my heart beating fast all of it he he's like, kind of like a drill instructor you know what i'm saying he wants me to push through it and i'm like baby can you pick me up because you're gonna have to take me to the m you have to take me to the hospital like i'm not paying the ambulance bill so you're gonna have to take me if i pass out so give me a minute so yeah i'm just yeah i'm not i'm not going back to jacob because he, he baby he he too hard on me i ain't get it i ain't got it in me to go back to him and I honestly, I didn't even like how my body was looking when I was going to him. Like, I was getting big. Like, big. My aunt came in town that week. That week my aunt came in town, I was 147. When Karen was here. I was 147. And we all took a picture together, right? Oh my God, my thigh. My thigh was huge. My butt was big too. My thigh was huge. I looked at that picture and I was like, so honestly, looking at that picture made me want to stop eating so much. Because I wasn't liking how 147 looked on me at all. So we're going to stop at 145. Oh, but yeah, let me get to work because when was the last video I posted? And we are on day 23. I need to post. Oh, I got eight days to post at least three more videos. At the very least, eight days to post three videos. So we fit to give y'all a little March Madness possibly and um, give you three to three to four videos this week. And in April, you guys let me know if this is something that you all will be interested in. But I, I wanted to do it for March and, do, and vlog every day for 31 days like I did for Vlogmas. But being that this is my birthday month and I was going to be traveling and vacating, I really didn't want to like feel like I was working as like I did in Vlogmas because Vlogmas was a lot. But in April, I'm thinking about vlogging every day. Let me know if this is something you all would be interested in. I'm only going to do it for the month of April and then you'll see it again in October and for Vlogmas. But yeah, or should I do it in May? May Madness. Hmm. We'll think about it. Oh my god y'all the living room looks so good my mirror just came today and they just brought it and it looks so freaking good y'all want to see okay if you follow me on instagram then you've already pretty much seen it but yeah a vibe we got the wall to wall curtains it's a vibe so now 
I am looking for something that will go under the TV and still complement the room and not take away from the minimalism. So I know the TV doesn't look like it's in the middle, but it is. You just have to come this way. So the living room is pretty much almost done. I just need to find a nice um, floating shelf that's like modern and doesn't take away from the minimalist decor. Cause I don't want to overdo it. And a lot of credenzas and sideboards are kind of like doing too much. So I really want it to be really modern. I think a, I think a floating white shelf would be best but the one that i found that i really really like is from homery and it won't be delivered for like four to eight weeks four to six or four to eight weeks it's that's too long i want it now oh i just started feeling feeling dizzy out of nowhere but yeah um i'm just about to do some work and um make me some breakfast I'm trying to push out four more videos by the end of the month. So, um, mm -hmm. gotta get to work. Cause I haven't been, I haven't really been working this month. I took, Ooh, I took like nine days off. And then I turned around and took like five days off from just like editing. I was still filming, but editing. So I need to push out some more videos. Hey, what's up y'all? So I, um, just recently did it a little Amazon haul. So, stuff is coming in like piece by piece. Some stuff, is like, some stuff that I ordered was like overnight. and I didn't order it overnight, but it was like it would be shipped overnight. And I ordered, so I ordered these bamboo drawer dividers. And I'm about to organize my my drawer. The, I'm about to organize the drawer that has all of these in it. I don't want them to be on the counter. I'm really trying to make the counter, counter as minimal as possible. So. still got a box downstairs that I haven't opened um, from packing, from moving, with a whole bunch of kitchen stuff in it that I did not know was in there. Cause I was like, where's my pizza pan? Where's all my like stuff? Like what happened to it? Turns out I never left it at the Airbnb. It's been downstairs in Cairo room in a box. Child, I tell you, having long meals is a headache. It's so hard to pick stuff up. And I don't know what I did with my box cutter. My trusty box cutter. I don't know what I did with it. I had two. And now I don't know where to hit. Look at that. That about a bitch. My draw's too long. So we gonna have to do it. Oh, come on, man. Seriously? So I seriously just just bought these and can't use them. 30, baby, won't you meet me by the beat? Early, baby, later, you can show me things. You know what it is whenever I visit. Windy city, don't need to see it so long. 30 degrees, way too close, so hold me down. Will I see you at the show tonight? Will I see you at the show tonight? Hey. Truck to the plane, to the truck, truck to the hotel lobby. Me, I go through underground garages, presidential suite on the plaza, elevator up to the room, shower up, and then we hit the club. Touchdown, gotta see what's up. Area code in my phone. What numbers do I stand? Right. Where are you going after you get out of the facility? <coughs> Unfortunately, my parents want me to come back to this hellhole. What do you think about that? You know how I feel about being here around them in this place. Baby, I have been hey. glued well, then we should to this to them, couch. Huh? Do you hear me? See, maybe we can get you your own apartment and then you'll be in a. <coughs> Let's see. 
I think I started. <coughs> I'm on season one. Ooh, this one's strong. <coughs> <coughs> this one looks strong. So I'm watching the haves and have nots, okay? Mm, excuse me. I was gonna perm my hair. I was gonna relax my hair today. I'm gonna do it tomorrow because I've been stuck. So I'm watching Tyler Perry's The Haves and Have Nots because baby, I've been desperate to find something on TV to watch to binge. I have not left my house in two days. I really have made <coughs> I really have made this a home and now I'm just like I don't want to go nowhere. <laughs> so Girl, I'm on episode 12. I just started the season, season one today. I'm already on episode 12. Don't ask me how I did it. But I've been... <coughs> one episode, I might be this way. The next episode, I might be this way. By the sectionals lead, I may never have a regular couch in my life. So for those of you who wanted to know like where I got my couch, I got it from homery.com. Um, and they had like so many round couches because I really wanted to go with a round couch. Like after what happened with their other furniture company, it just really made me like not even want to get that furniture. I don't know. It, everything happened for a reason. So I've been, you know, looking at round furniture and this was the couch that was ready to deliver in four to six days. All of the other couches, which they have a lot of nice round couches, especially boucle. Um, it was nine to 12 weeks. Girl, I couldn't wait no longer. After their value furniture situation, I couldn't wait any longer, honey. So I found this one. I loved it, read the reviews. It's firm. <clears throat> So, honestly, like, I've slept on this couch already, like, once. And I feel like this couch is great for my back. I literally can, like, lay out, lay here. It's, this couch is really making me want to take the mattress pad off of my bed and <clears throat> sleep with, like, a, just a firm, sleep on a firm bed because my back, my back is bad. So, so like, I really enjoy sit, sitting on this couch and just lounging on it, even though, like, it's not supposed to be functional in their way like it's not meant to be a lounge couch but as you can see i got my little cream throw because <clears throat> i don't want anything to shed on it or anything but like it's firm but still cushiony and soft like i'm not you when you sit down in it you're not gonna sink in it but you're not gonna bounce back off of it and i can appreciate that now this low back right here It's not for it's not meant for anybody with bad with back problems like me, but um I love it. I love my couch. I love it. I love it. I love it. Like I said, I've been all over. You got three different pieces. So on every piece, a person can uh lay down on it, like fit on it. So this could sleep three people. Although ain't nobody spending a night over my house. But yeah, I'm on episode 12. <clears throat> As you can see, I ain't got no company. It's a Saturday. Baby, I don't be having company like that. Like, it's very rare that I will invite you to my house. That is very, very rare. Like, if I invite you to my house, that is a big deal. That is a big deal, and I really need you to appreciate this shit because I'm not quick to invite nobody to my house. I'm just not. Try to protect your energy, girl. Like Look at this Patrick ass. Swayze looking ass. Okay, Dirty Dancing. Ah, I had the time of my life. And I owe it all to you. Somebody run across the field and jump in the nigga arms. It ain't gonna be me, baby. I'm afraid of heights. We can hug. You can get, you get a church hug. You know you gotta leave yeah, this space that and pat him on the shoulder. One day that you've enjoyed being with me. You can get a church hood. No. Really? Look, y'all done figured out a way for back support. Put one of these little round pillows right there in that in that little section. Cause right between my you shoulder blades is where I have the most pain. But maybe I guess that's fine. Baby, Jeffrey played his role too good. Hey. Goodbye, Jeffrey. I just gotta 
Baby Jeffrey played his yeah, role too good, good, first of all. Second of all, why they give him the name Jeffrey? Like, when you think of Jeffrey, you just think of the butler from we, uh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, right? That's what I do. Hey, what's up, guys? All right, you guys, I am. Oh, Lord, we getting a late start to our day. We woke up at 11, laid around, watched a couple of movies. Um, I have not eaten, but I am getting out of the house. I've been in the house for the past three days. Once you get your house the way you really want, it's hard not to leave. It's hard to like want to go outside. So I've been in the house for three days and I need to go and pick up packages from my shipping warehouse, my delivery warehouse. I want to go by the mall and see what they got going on in it. Um, and what else do I need to do? It's something else. Oh, I really want to make that salmon fried rice that I made from Trader Joe's again. So I guess it's safe to say that I like Trader Joe's. I was, I don't know, the first, my, my first impression of it kind of like threw me off because one, it was a lot of cars in the parking lot. And I'm like, why is so many people in Trader Joe's? But I'm hearing that that's very common, like Trader Joe's be packed. Um, it really was, wasn't a lot of people in the store. Um, and they had like, they weren't out of anything. They had like, you know plenty of inventory it's just i was under the impression that it was like a traditional grocery store i didn't know that somebody told me that um the person that's over aldi used to be partners with the person that's over trader joe's so i'm like oh okay they used to be partners and then they broke up so trader joe really a trader all right um so yeah, um, but even when you shop in Aldi's, you can still get Frosty Flakes, like Kellogg's Frosty Flakes. It's not like just off-brand items. You like, you know what I'm saying? When you go in Trader Joe's, it's not like that. Everything is pretty much Trader Joe's. But I ended up liking all everything that I got, especially the dark skin eggs, the African American eggs. I love them. It's like, I don't know, I want, I want to say that they didn't make my stomach hurt, like, I think, I, I want to say eggs make my stomach hurt, but I didn't have any problems with the African American eggs. So I'm going to definitely um, stop by Trader Joe's today and just pick up some items. I love their hash browns. The hash browns so good, child. I don't, I already murdered the hash browns. And, um. Just like a couple of things, not a lot. I'm not gonna overdo it. But I definitely wanna make that fried rice again because it was so easy and quick. So yeah, we're just about to run some errands today. I'm not wearing anything. I look like a complete bomb. Do I got a head in here? Cause I really need to put a head on. I just put a little water right here on this little lace part right here cause it had like some leftover like, um, gel or whatever and I just put like a little water and I rubbed it in and like baby look look at it I ain't putting nothing else on this wig I just put a little water right here rubbed it in and look at it I ain't going nowhere that's that bow hole liquid gold baby I, it's water activated like if it's left over you know how like glue be left over in the in the lace when you using like regular glue mm -mm. Bow hole liquid go is water activated, baby. You can put a little water on it, a little spit, God's iodine, rub it in, and it's gonna stick right back to your skin. You heard it here first. So, uh, yeah, we got to run some errands. I want to go to Nordstrom Rack because I was watching. I love Monroe Steele. I love her. She is so feminine and fashionable, you guys. If you have not subscribed to her and um, don't know about her yet, like, get into ma'am. She is just so feminine and fashionable. Baby, she make me want to buy real designer, okay? Because, you know, you know, I'll buy, I'll buy shoes, but purses, I, I'd rather the bag be in the bag than spend the bag on the bag. Does that make sense? 
but ma'am be making me want to shop shop because i'm very frugal like i be sitting on shh, shy. listen <clears throat> but i'm frugal as hell i really be acting like i'm broke <laughs> i really act like i'm broke y'all that's how i know i'm supposed to be rich because that's what rich people do so yeah um definitely go and follow her i love her and who is the other girl damn uh hello looks i love her i love her too and she just posted a, a short with this really cute summer outfit because you know like sometimes like when you be want to put stuff on you be like uh, i don't know if i could wear this because it's the summertime now you know what i'm saying it's spring but she had on this cute silk dress she put a blazer over it in these white and black boots there was a short she just recently posted maybe it wasn't recent i just it just popped up on my timeline but anyway i thought that that shoe was so freaking cute and fashionable and she threw on some shades with it i was like yes sis you know <clears throat> so it really made me want to stop by nordstrom rack because i've never shopped in nordstrom rack I don't know why don't ask me why but I never have so it made me want to go back there and just like see what I can find because I'm getting ready to take a trip and I have a surprise for you guys um so yeah come on with me come on with me let's go first because I'm going on a, another vacation so I need some like colorful spring items really cute 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 stuff this is cute and simple I looked online and I saw a lot of stuff that I like so I came to the gallery of Zara because this Zara seems to always have like a better variety of things to like choose from and I put on something comfortable I'm wearing something comfortable for use because I'm probably gonna have to try on stuff because my food is so damn big so yeah let's see what we can find in here in a can okay so they don't have the ones in a can so I have to get these these are basically the same ones except for see so like mimosa except for they're in the bottom okay all done at Trader Joe's I went and got some so I think I'm gonna make seafood fried rice tonight um instead of salmon fried rice I'm trying something different because I saw so, like they had this seafood medley type of thing with like mussels and shrimp and calamari so i think i'm gonna make a uh, seafood fried rice instead of a salmon and i did really good i only spent 125 dollars or so um but i did break a nail while we was in zara i cracked it in the middle so i need to make one more stop before i go home and get some nail glue so uh because we getting ready to go out of town we cannot have a broken nail like this always happens gee whiz like it's so annoying how do i get out of here oh
but yeah productive productive day we found some cute stuff in Zara y'all very much springy um I found a really really pretty slip one of those like lingerie slip dresses oh it fits so good on me like I think I might found my like my favorite little summer dress like the little slip dresses are cute y'all gotta get y'all some of them slip dresses and I bought a really cute blazer to go over it just for like the summer nights or whatever But yeah, and then I also ordered a few things from Fashion Nova, of course, because why not? Um, and they'll be here tomorrow. Oh my God. Do I got time to go and pick up my package? I need to go and pick up a package. Okay, really quick grocery haul. I ended up spending $132 at Trader Joe's. So I got these salad kits that I love with the avocado dressing, some watermelon chunks. Some pineapple chunks, salmon. Aaliyah always talks about this turkey bacon, so I decided to try it. Um, I got some French toast, some mozzarella sticks, some kung pao chicken. If you know me, you know I love Asian food. This is the seafood paella that I was telling you about. I also got some chicken fried rice, and then I got two of the vegetable fried rice because I love Asian food. Again, more Asian food. Um, I got the mandarin orange chicken. Then I got these sweet potato nachis. I guess that's how you say it. I don't know how to pronounce it. I also got these buffalo style chicken poppers. They looked really good. I can put those in the air fryer. More fruit because I love fruit. Uh, strawberries. Love these hash browns. I've been making them every morning for breakfast. I like mixing these in with the fried rice. It gives it a nice flavor because this is like um like this has garlic in it so it gives it a nice flavor and i also love these country potatoes with haricot verts and wild mushrooms this is really good and then i also got some chicken salad and i got some of these little cookies these macaron cookies haven't really tried them i think i've tried them like one time so just a snack while I'm like sitting downstairs eating. I got some more avocados because I've been eating lots and lots of avocados. These aren't ripe yet, so they can sit out for a while. You guys have been telling me about this lemonade, so I decided to give it a try. Then I got this vegan Caesar dressing, more African-American eggs, and some more cheese. And then I got this organic hearty minestrone soup just for a snack when I want something to eat but don't feel like cooking. So that is my grocery haul. I'm about to put all of this stuff up, put me on something to watch on TV while I do so. I'm going to go ahead and make my seafood fried rice. Do y'all want to see it? Do y'all want to see how I make it? It's going to be pretty easy because everything's in a bag. Like when you don't like cooking, go to Trader Joe's. They have everything you need already in a bag frozen. All you got to do is... And what about it? 